Hi everyone, I'm Nikolai Michko, and today I'm going to dive into the deep world of AI model distillation. And the reason why I'm going to go into this is that large AI models have some problems. Uh, I'm going to go into that and also make a few points on how you can teach a smaller model or distill knowledge from a big AI model into a smaller model. So what's really the problem here? Well, large language models are particularly big, and that's the L in large language models. And what that means is that it takes a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of resources to train and deploy these AI models. So with very large variants, which are really good, they're very good at what they do, um, they take a lot of time, money, and resources. And so what, we've, what the AI model industry is looking to do is work with smaller models. And so with large models and small models, there's a key difference in that small models are faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient uh, when you use them inside your application. So there is an inherent problem, though, is that the teacher model is actually much smarter than a smaller student model. And so model distillation is an attempt to take the knowledge learned in your teacher model and put that into your student model. And so the way that this works is that if you have some very, very large model, uh, so let's take Llama 3 which the largest version has 405 billion parameters. That takes many GPUs to run and train. So it takes over millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to train a model this size. And just to deploy them, it might take server racks of, a, of GPUs to actually deploy this model. However, a small language model or a smaller model, like Llama 3, 1 billion, can be deployed to your phone. So how do we teach the information learned in this big model down to the smaller model? Well, the way that that works is you start with a data set, and that data set could be question-answer pairs, it could be input-outputs. And what you're going to do is you're going to run that data through your teacher and student model. Now, the teacher model's smarter, it's learned more information, and it can give a better answer to any of your questions. The student model won't be as good. However, each of these models produce something called logits. And these are little bits of information that go in, that have the detail of how the model actually thought and got to the conclusion it gave you back. So what the way you get data from or information from your teacher model to your student model is you actually compare the output of these logits. And then using a variety of algorithms, which we won't go into here, you can then update your smaller model so that it becomes closer to your larger model. Now you can do this in an iterative process so that your student model learns from the teacher model, and that's effectively knowledge distillation. So why would you do this in the first place? Well, the teacher model, again, is very, very hard to deploy, can be very expensive. The student model uh, can run in many more places. So this can run on your phone, your laptop, it can even run on an edge device and put it out in the field. And effectively what this means is that your time, cost, and resources to both train and deploy the student model are much lower. And so model distillation is a very important technique that you actually see in the field to be able to get an AI model and knowledge that you have in a teacher model into a student model, a large language model into a small language model. And you might actually be using one of these distilled models today if you use the turbo variant of any of the uh, open AI models uh, you, see, uh, you see in their API. So ChatGPT3 was distilled down to ChatGPT3 Turbo 3.5. And again, you can do this in an iterative process. So you could take a very large model and you could continue going smaller and smaller until you have a model that's right for your device size. So effectively, uh, model distillation is a way for you to take knowledge learned from a very large language model into a smaller language model. 